Hello there, every. I need to move my mic away from my mouth. Hello there, everybody. I'm not Slayer Forty Nine, and this is Q and A to Electric Boogaloo, the squeak will... I don't. I don't know. I don't care. Last time was on November twenty third, which is quite a while ago. Let me tell you. But now it is December second, which is the secondest day of November. December there ever was. Now you may be wondering, oh, where have you been? You go kill yourself. Well, let me tell you, I've been quite a few places, but here is not one of them. Mm? Gotta drink my soda. You have to suffer that. You have to suffer through that. The, the me drinking soda. You have to do it. Anyway, so basically. I would have told you guys that I was going to be gone, except I actually did. I put a video up on Wednesday, similar to the last video that I put up, where I was going to Minnesota, right? I put one up on Wednesday saying, I'm going to be gone for a while until Sunday, Saturday. It's Monday now, technically. But, um, never published. YouTube never published the video. It was never put up ever. So that's kind of kind of pointless. But it was just one of those text videos where I say, "Hey, I'm going to be gone." And yeah. Pretty much exactly, right? Exactly like the other video. Except when I got back things I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Point is that my girlfriend left me after I got back from the last trip. Not the case this time, because no GF. Alright, so let's start with the questions. It's been two minutes now. Hippity day. First question comes from 15 Shadow Dude, who asks, Did you watch the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who? I did not. I haven't ever seen Doctor Who. I've already explained this before. Doctor Who is one of those shows that it, it looks nice, right? It's not like I don't want to watch it. It's that I've just never gotten around to watching it. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's gotten so far along. You know, they've got how, God knows how many episodes out. Like you said, it's 50th anniversary. 50 years of, um, what's-his-face going around screwing things with his Sonic or whatever. Um... So there are just God knows how many episodes, and it's it's pretty it's pretty overwhelming if you haven't started watching it already and you're not up to date. Uh, yeah, uh, kitty kitty cat goes meow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, who is this? Uh, Crash Bandicoot fan one hundred asks, "What do you think about massive online battle arenas or something like that?" It's, no, no, multiplayer. About I don't remember what the acronym stands for. Okay. Specifically, League of Legends. He's got a few more questions, but whatever. Well, let me tell you. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't think that they're bad, but I, I never got into the whole uh, competitive RTS scene, so... I, I mean, what, 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 what can I do? I played Warcraft 3 during the whole Dota craze at first, so I could have easily played that and gotten into it, but I d did not want to because I wanted to play Green TD. But now nobody, sw nobody hosts Green TD ever, so it, that makes me angry. Hey, if you play Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne still, host a match at Green TD. People will join you. Green TD is fun. I like tower defense games. I didn't even like Green TD at first, actually. I, uh, I, I liked Pokemon. It was my favorite. But then nobody hosted Pokemon, and everybody was hosting this new thing called Green TD. So I thought, eh, well, why, why not? And then I got into that, and then everybody stopped hosting Green TD. Actually, the first thing that I got into in Warcraft 3 was Zerg Infestation. And that was the funnest thing ever, and nobody hosts matches of it anymore because they suck. Everyone sucks, and they don't host Zerg Infestation. No one. Um, 
Yeah, second question. Would you do play through of X and Y if you have no recording system for 3DS? Disregard this question. Screw that, I'm not disregarding it. The, well, you say would. As in, in theory. So, yeah, I, I would, but, but, um, no 3DS recording system because I, 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 uh, spend all my money on Steam games and guns. Like, uh, oh, it's across the room. Uh, like this. Which is my Remington 887 Nitro Magnum. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm just gonna put that back. Next question! Yoshi Man 56 asks, Do you plan on playing Dark Spore? Actually, that'd be pretty interesting. Dark Spore is like if Spore and Diablo had some sort of unholy baby, and then EA pooped on it a little, and then Dark Spore was born. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. It's it's Spore's Diablo stage. That's that's what it is. And I played it. I actually have it on Steam. And I I quite enjoyed it for what it is. It's it's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> it's like Spore, right? Okay, here's. You know how Spore has a bunch of different stages that act like different types of games, you know? Except each of the different stages is so shallow in its construction that Spore ends up not being this deep immersive game. It ends up being a whole bunch of different games that were done sort of shoddily that have been thrown together in this whole mishmash of creature customization. <laughs> Whereas Dark Spore is a slightly less shoddy mishmash of just one stage with creature customization. And it's it's not bad. I played it. Uh, the gameplay gets pretty repetitive after a while. And the item pickups aren't as... Uh, th they aren't as varied or unique as the item pickups in Diablo, so... What can you say? What can I do? Um, no sockets, really. No socketed items. That's the real problem. If your RPG game has sockets, then you're doing good for yourself. Otherwise, no. Put sockets in. Come on. Do it. Do it now! T-Rex Win asks, what happened to your hardcore Minecraft Let's Play? I don't know. It's still there. The world's still there. I just haven't touched it in a while. Uh, honestly, I go through phases of uh, Minecraft. You know, where I, I'll decide, hey, I feel like playing Minecraft now. So I'll get on, I'll play Minecraft, and do this and do that. And then after a while, I'll just be all, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done for now. And then I stop playing Minecraft. Hardcore Minecraft was one was uh, it was one such uh, phase of me wanting to play Minecraft, but uh, yeah, honestly, right now I'm actually playing the uh, I'm playing uh, Tekkit Light because regular Tekkit doesn't have Industrial Craft, and Industrial Craft is the it's one of the industrial mods that I know the most, so that's the one I go with. That and Buildcraft are the industrial mods that I play. They've got all these other mods that are sort of, like, they do the same thing, but they're different and overly complicated, and they're stupid, and I hate them. So, yeah, Tech It Light, 100% for the win. It's on 147, though, so that's it's pretty outdated. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, regular Minecraft, kind of boring. Doesn't really have much going for it. Tech at light, however, you set up a quarry, you make a hoose. A beautiful hoose. More cobble than you could ever want. Yeah. I've got too much cobble. Now, finishing off the YouTube comment questions. Can't, 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 can bang can't, can 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 bang Is that... Yeah, that, I'm reading that correctly. Asks, would you like to see another Pokemans game that goes back to the Ore region with Shadowmans? Yeah, sure. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't have anything against it. Just so long as they made it so that your save file doesn't delete itself! 
or corrupt itself, rather. Ah, uh, my God. Dear God, just come on, man. Just delete. Just oh my God, that was so stupid. Uh, but yeah, yeah. No, I've got nothing against that. In fact, I actually kind of like that. If they uh, if they made it uh, the, the handheld game, since they have 3D now, that'd be pretty cool. It'd be more compatible than it was prior, where you had to have the GBA link cable, and that was pretty annoying, because you lose those all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the whole system of Shadow Pokemon, where they... Where they friendlify themselves to you, and then you get to do a thing. It, uh, it it's it's a nice twist, and I think that if they made another game, that quite a few people would buy it, and everyone would hate it because they just I don't know why people just don't like the XD and the Coliseum. They're stupid. He also asks, would you want an X and Y update to add more content, like more clothing, especially to guys, or more to the after game? Indeed, I would. Also, what after game? Badooch. No, seriously, though. X and Y has no after game. Uh, Diamond and Pearl had pretty had a pretty good after game. Black and White had a pretty good after game. D X and Y, no. No after game. None. Zero. There's another town that you can go visit, I guess. But that's it. Zero after game. Zero. None. Actually, no, there's that whole thing with... I almost, I almost said there's that whole thing with the hooker, but no, that's that's wrong. That's more like GTA. There's the whole thing with looker, but honestly, that's that's just wandering around the same areas. I, I prefer after game where you get to explore some new areas. And, y you know, like the, the battle areas, perfect. And those extra routes that you had in black and white, those are good. But, uh... Yeah. No after game. Also, additional clothing. Yeah, they should have more clothing. Uh, yeah. I, I've never actually played as a guy in X and Y, so my my guy's a girl. Kind of kind of contradiction there. But I, yeah, yeah. So I I wouldn't know if the guys were lacking clothing or anything. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to get some more pretty clothing. I could use me a light green dress, maybe. I like I like wearing fancy dresses because that's they never get to wear fancy dresses in any other game. Why why wouldn't you wear a fancy dress in X and Y? That's what I do. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with me, mostly. Fancy dress. Now starting off the YouTube question message question message questions, we have. Magical MLG who asks, what are some pros and cons of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4? Well, evidently the Xbox One has some hardware issues. What with it, uh, I just brushed my mic. What with it being a bit warm when it starts up and it taking forever and it doing this and that. But uh, it has the Kinect, so you get the voice chat. Really, the Kinect is the only reason why it costs more than the PS4. It's all that, it's all that extra hardware. Costs a hundred bucks. Um, yeah, so obviously there's the price difference. There's a bit of a con towards the Xbox One. And then there's the whole deal with the Xbox One being a little warmer and taking a while to start up if you've got the, the ec ec ecologically green friendly. Startup option selected. And, uh... Yeah, I don't actually have an Xbox One yet. They sold out pretty much instantly. As soon as they came out, so I haven't been able to get my hands on one yet. But, uh... Pros for the Xbox One is that it's got all sorts of fun apps and games. Really, the Xbox One is more of an all-in-one entertainment center than a game console. Whereas the PlayStation 4 is a dedicated game console. Still, both, both really good. Both really nice. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really know much aside from that. D dingle. Next up, we've got Slay of 49 Rocks, who asks many questions. Firstly, 
Where do you live? Not address, but general location. I'm one of those kinds of people. Well, I live in Washington. Not in Washington, D.C. Washington State. It's the northwestmost state in America. M mainland America. Obviously Alaska, but screw Alaska. Nobody cares about Alaska. <laughs> uh, and then just everyone from Alaska unsubscribes. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I live in Washington. I don't know specifically where in Washington the area I'm in is. I live in Kenmore. So I, I, I can't really say if it's Central Washington or Western Washington? It's not Eastern Washington. No, screw Eastern Washington. It's too far from everything. But, uh, yeah. Next! Why didn't your secret ingredients work? Seriously, I got blisters like mad. Well, honestly, you just, you just need to try harder. You know, you need to get the highest quality hammers, and you need to go to the Home Depot and get plywood made out of 110% birch black walnut. That's that's it. High quality solid gold hammers. And that. Next, he asks, what is your favorite food of all time? My favorite food of all time is buffalo wings. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Buffalo wings. I don't know. I don't really have an overall favorite food. I like a ton of different foods. And I feel like eating them at different times. There isn't a single food that I could eat all the time. Although I will say, I, I am pretty picky, right, as far as my tastes are concerned. But I'm not very picky as far as what I will eat of those foods, you know? I could eat the same thing every day for quite a long time. In fact, I have done that. Like at school, I'd get uh, Asian chicken or whatever every day, and I don't know how many months that went on for. And so, yeah, I, I, I can deal with little variety in food pretty well. Yeah. But yeah, buffalo wings is what I say, because that's that's what I like to do. Yeah. Finally, he asks, how was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was amazing, right? Flew over to uh, Wisconsin to visit the rest of my family as they all live in Wisconsin and it was great I got to see my family I um, one of the things I do now is I go out hunting with my grandpa every year and I haven't ever seen a deer ever <laughs> because I guess I'm just bad like that although uh, the past few years have actually been pretty pretty not good for uh, hunting, honestly. Um, in all the days that I've been out, uh, only my grandpa's actually seen a deer. And he's he's really good at hunting. He's been doing this for God knows how many years now. And he pretty reliably gets at least one deer every year. But uh, not the years that I've been out. <laughs> uh... But yeah, aside from that, it was it was fun. Everything was fun. I got to eat cheese curds because they don't have fried cheese curds in Washington. It sucks, and I hate everyone. Seriously, the fried cheese curds are the best thing ever. If you don't like them, there might be something wrong with you. This is the bottle. That sounds weird. I can't tell if that sounds any different on the recording, but it does here. Next question. Pizza Gaming 41 asks, do you know what the fox says? Uh, yeah. Captain the Spore Rex of Tumblr stuff, quite a long name there, asks many questions. Many questions at once. Firstly, are you going to buy a PS4? Probably not. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm for sure going to get the X-Bone, because MLG status 2013. But I don't really I don't really know about the PS4, honestly. 
I've never been a PlayStation guy. I don't like the way the controller fits in my hand. And I like me getting DLC when it comes out and not a month after it comes out. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't... There's no reason for me to get the PS4. Just, it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Next, I'm going to save the second one for the last, actually, because that'll, that'll take a while. Next, he asks, what do you think of Pokemon X and Y, and what is it compared to Black and White and Emerald? Kind of, kind of odd wording there. So, X and Y. They're awesome. I love them forever. But they need more after game, and also Pokebank needs to come out already. I swear to God, I haven't played X and Y. Or just why. I haven't played why in God knows how long. Just because there's there's nothing to do. The Pokebank hasn't come out. So I can't transfer all of my mans forward. And they're the guys that I want to use. Okay? They're the guys that I want to use. I don't want to use other guys. So that... I haven't played it in a while, honestly. I haven't finished making my number one ultimate butter team. So, yeah. But, um... X and Y, definitely better than black and white, I'd say. Um, not sure if it's better than Emerald. I don't know. Because Emerald, it, it just holds a special place in my heart. I'm not sure if I can say that any Pokemon game is better than Emerald. You know? So, yeah, that that's that. What was your favorite LP you did? Honestly, being honest, 100%. My favorite LP that I ever did was probably, uh, I'm going to say Link to the Past. I just, I, lo I loved it so much. Loved it so much. Ocarina of Time is really good too, but I don't know, I don't know why. Just something about playing that Link to the Past. It was good. Which is interesting, because Link to the Past wasn't my most popular series at all. <laughs> but, uh, whatever. Whatever works. I also like Super Metroid. SNES games are really good. SNES games are really good. I don't, I don't know why. It's just something about that era that was really nice. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Link to the Past. And last, but not least, what is your favorite species you made on Spore? Favorite species. This is actually this actually isn't the last one. I'm doing the other one next. Favorite species. Ah. That's That's interesting. I've made God knows how many species now, so I'm not not really sure. Ah. Uh, Mm. I'm gonna say something. God, I don't remember what they were called. I don't remember what they were called at all. But it was it was little blue dragon guy, and he had a sword on his back. I think I think it was Argyle, Argyle species, whatever his his species was called. I want to say it's the Garadorn, but it wasn't. It was some other species. Some other species that I made that looks almost exactly like the Garadorn, because the Garadorn didn't have jump, and they didn't have actual wings. And one thing that I cannot live without is jump and your flippity flap wings. Can't deal with it. Cannot deal with it. You know, you could say, oh, just put points into the science thing and get jetpack. Blah! Yeah, four points in the science so I can get sprint in things that I'm never going to use? Screw that! It's stupid! 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 Stupid. Last but not least, actually, top ten worst slash most hated channels on YouTube. Now, mm, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't 
really think that there are worse channels on YouTube. I mean, obviously, there are worse channels on YouTube. There are channels that are just god-awful. Like, uh... What, what was that guy's name? It was that it was that one guy. Hold on, let me let me see if I can make it up. Uh Ah oh god. I don't I, right, right. It was it was raw instinct. That guy. He did this thing where instead of making original content, he sort of just ripped off ideas from other popular YouTubers. It, it was all Call of Duty content. But yeah, he ripped off a bunch of stuff from uh, people like T Martin and White Boy 7th Street, I think, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the, that's, that one's pretty bad. Because, <laughs> I mean, that. But, yeah, he sort of disappeared off the grid, I think. Hold on, let me, let me see. Raw Instinct. And it, it, it's, it's Raw Instinct spelled with 1-2 instead of, you know... Yeah. Uh, no, no, he's got a couple videos up reasonably recently. I don't know. But yeah. So he's he's pretty bad. He did that whole thing. There was the whole scandal. Yeah. Uh, aside from that... Uh, God. I, d I don't know. Worst, most hated channel. Here's the thing. I don't really know what people hate the most. And there really aren't worst channels. You know? Because even channels that I personally hate to death, like PewDiePie, I don't like PewDiePie at all. And I swear to God, he is so annoying. And I don't like him. But he's got an audience. You know, his videos aren't bad, per se. I just don't like them at all. You know? It's, it's like it's like Brussels sprouts or whatever. I hate Brussels sprouts to death, but, you know, there are people who like Brussels sprouts, and I don't... Honestly, it doesn't affect me whether they like it or not, so I don't care. But, uh... Yeah. Um... Ooh, there was also another guy. There was also another guy. Who, wh who was it? I don't remember what his name was specifically, but there was also that Pruane 2 Forever guy, Jossus. A lot of people didn't really like him. That was, he was, he was, videos are pretty terrible. Although there were a few really funny moments in his videos, which weren't funny. They weren't supposed to be funny, but they were funny because of, oh my god. God, they were hilarious. Oh, my God. Like, there was one video, there was one point in uh, in his Terminator 2 review where he says that he couldn't take his eyes away and that it was amazing. And just the infliction... Infliction? Just the inflection in his voice when he says that and the fact that he rotates his head as he's saying it is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, a lot of people don't like him. There's also... Copper Cab, obviously. Copper Cab is pretty, pretty universally disliked. Gingers have souls. And then there was also that one guy. There was that one guy. It was it was like a AVGN ripoff type guy. And I don't remember what his name was at all. Uh. I want to say it's it's like the a angry a angry gamer. No. God. I don't remember what his name was, but he his oh god. I don't remember what his name was at all. I'm sorry, I can't. But yeah, that that's all I can say for that. I don't really have a top 10 list of worst, most hated YouTube channels. Um, although I will say I Justine games are pretty terrible. I Justine gaming. Oh my god. There was this one guy, uh, Forever Pandering, who posted a video 
where he talked in a really weird deep voice. It wasn't really weird. It, it was just deep voice. He talked in a deep voice, and he was talking about how he found the perfect method of torture or whatever. And then he just showed I Justine's portal let's play, and oh my god, her portal two let's play was awful. She got stuck on parts of the game that weren't puzzles. They weren't puzzles. They were just moving through a hallway. I swear to God. I swear to God. Like I said, nothing against I just nothing against I Justine. Some people like her. I don't. Whatever. But oh my. god. God, how do you? How can you be that bad at Portal? Like, how do you? How do you not? It's, I'm, 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 I have to be done with this question now. I'm sorry. It's been going on for like 11 minutes. Yeah. And finally, this isn't actually. This wasn't actually a QA question, but I feel like I should mention it. Uh, Teradon asks if I've seen a website known as Survivor 2299. And Fallout 4 and stuff. And I hadn't prior to this. But I looked it up. And I just searched for Survivor 229. No, 2299. Uh, so you go to The Survivor 2299. And then you get this uh, Morse code that's going on. The Vault Tech logo. Some sort of countdown for... At the moment, it says 9 days, 15 hours, 25 minutes, and 52 seconds, 51 seconds, 50 seconds, 49 seconds, 48. Yeah, you get the deal. And it says, Kavunger Rev Alpha, PPS Vitpiz, Milp Vok, Sim, Zhuam Zip, Nibjib, Sp, Bikus, Kut, Dewihi, Bif Giab, Fi, Vukdil Mac, Nighekut, 5120, nuclear winter has come. And then all that other stuff, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I hope that means Fallout 4 confirmed. Because Fallout 4 would be cool, you know, if it was actually stable and not unstable like Fallout 3 and New Vegas were. But, uh, yeah. That's all for now. I'm not Slayer 49. Good night and have a happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. I, sh I still need to change all the crap back from Esper. Uh.